groundbreaking attack in Michigan, Trump about to make urgent announcement that affects all Americans. Travel has come to a screeching halt at the Bishop International Airport in Flint, Michigan, located just an hour outside of the state's Muslim Mecca in Dearborn. Authorities are working to clean up the bloodbath right now as travelers, both incoming and outgoing, are arriving upon their worst nightmare they suspected would be coming to Michigan. Details from the harrowing scene are emerging now along with who is at the center of it. Michigan has become a hotbed of hate as Muslims have been allowed to take over much of the state and impose their religious rights on everyone who was there before them. After years of this infiltration, fueled in large part by Barack Obama's refugee program and the town of Dearborn becoming the Middle East of Michigan, it was only a matter of time before terrorism struck the innocent people of this state along with who was there to protect them, which was the case today. Detroit News is reporting that police have the suspect in custody at this time after he stabbed one of their own while shouting Alu Akbar. The officer, identified as Lieutenant Jeff Neville, is in critical condition after being stabbed in the neck at Bishop International Airport, breaking 911 reported. The Canadian-born suspect was shouting Alu Akbar during the attack, witnesses said. The unnamed male suspect was taken into custody alive. Detroit News reports. Bishop International Airport in Flint has been evacuated because of an incident, officials said. They also said in a post on the airport's Facebook page that an airport police officer has been injured. All passengers are safe and are being evacuated at this time, the message said. We will release more information as we have it. Flint Mayor Karen Weaver said a significant security event occurred Wednesday at the airport and officials have told her a person of interest in the incident is in custody. On Twitter, Michigan State Police say the officer is in critical condition and the FBI was leading the investigation. While the ethnicity of the attacker and his name have not been released, a witness on the scene described what she saw on his face. Sherry Carpenter described the husky man taken into custody as blank, just totally blank, as he was being hauled off with the officer's blood still on him following the stabbing. She and another witness say they saw the airport officer bleeding from his neck. Authorities say the officer is in critical condition. Ken Brown tells the Flint Journal he was dropping off his daughter at the airport and saw the officer bleeding from his neck. He says he saw a man detained by police and a knife on the ground, Detroit News reported. The cop was on his hands and knees bleeding from his neck, Brown described to the Flint Journal. I said they need to get him a towel with what looks to be another terror attack on U.S. soil and this time on President Trump's watch, he's expected to make an announcement about it soon. He won't make apologies for the attacker or say not to blame Islam, and will likely tighten up his resolve to impose his important travel ban. Flint's mayor, Karen Weaver, has just issued a statement regarding what happened at his town's airport along with announcing an increase of security in other government areas in the city. This was an immediate decision made as a precaution. Right now we are still awaiting more information about the situation at Bishop Airport this morning. My thoughts and prayers are with all of our law enforcement officers who work to service and protect us each and every day. I want the public to know that several agencies are involved and working to ensure the situation is under control. However, at this time we are taking extra precautions just to be safe. Be safe. Well, there it is ladies and gentlemen. Obama little charity run with the Muslims in Syria. It's coming into fruition. That's right. It is coming into fruition. Because the simple fact is. Oh, excuse me. Simple fact is. That's what happens when you bring other people from other countries, war torn countries, war torn countries that you was bombing over here in Flint, Michigan. I mean, in there in Flint, Michigan. Alright, you don't rescue people that you're bombing. Okay, and that's what I said before, and look what's going on right now. 
Flint, Michigan. So, uh, a person, person uh, one of those rough <laughs> have stabbed an uh, uh, airport person. Now, I don't know about you, but things comes in waves, and most things comes in threes. In my opinion, this will happen sooner or later, again, and again, and again, in the different areas. Personally, I think it, I think these people are a chosen horse that was managed by Obama and the Clintons to do what? I don't want to think about it. But, that, you cannot bring and save people from a country you bombed. That shit don't even make no goddamn sense, in my opinion. And Obama did some crazy shit, but in my opinion, that is the craziest shit I've ever seen Obama pull. Okay? And as simple as that. Yeah, I think Obama was some great president, but he did some crazy shit. And this is one of them. He had put a whole shitload of Muslims, not American Muslims, foreign Muslims from Syria and all these war torn countries that America attacked and destroyed and they rescued them and they brought them to America and they set them up and all stuff like that and now they're causing havoc. Next thing you know, we're going to be the next Europe. We're going to have problems like London. London had three fucking, three, uh, three, uh, three incidents in freaking goddamn one month. That shit was crazy. Alright, you got the Grinfells uh, 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 attack on the building. You got you got you got the shooting. You got the sh you got the stabbing on the on, on, on damn near London Bridge. Okay, uh, you got you got how many things you had to do? I right? these people in these uh, foreign countries are not freaking sane. All right, I mean I wish people stopped acting like they are. All right, the P American Muslims, you're all good. Okay, and as simple as that. You believe what you want to believe. That's your business. But at the same time. Y'all got some sense, but these freaking uh, these people from Syria and all these other people, I don't think so. Okay, and I don't I don't care. I don't think so. These people will have no god. They will have no history in terrorism or trying to bomb something. But they got a doctrine that says to bomb something against a Western nation or. A quote unquote infidel nation, okay? An infidel nation to destroy. Alright? And as simple as that. That is just out of control. Alright? And as simple as that. I mean, it's in their doctrine, and they said they, they, they bring them over here, and they said they, not, they are not terrorists, but they put, they bring a book. That gives you instructions to terrorize the infidel nation, which is the Western civilization, and you let them pass through the radar with that book called Quran. <laughs> I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but that's a little that's that, that don't make no damn sense. Okay, they're radicalized, they're insane, they have gone through a lot, and. I don't believe they should be in our country because the simple fact is they 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 was bombed by us okay and we we acting like we rescuing them how does that work you tell me okay later